Hello USA, today we discuss about a topic, a woman who happened upon the Friday crash of a pickup towing a trailer transporting 100 monkeys is reportedly being treated after a monkey spit at her and she developed pink eye symptoms. Thanks for stay with us, and make sure you could subscribe my YouTube channel dot and share it everywhere. Please like this video. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Peter, said the U.S. Department of Agriculture is investigating the accident, which occurred on an east-central Pennsylvania highway, and the subsequent attempts to round up some of the Cynomulgus macaque monkeys who had escaped from their crates. When Fallon looked into a crate, she heard a noise and saw a monkey inside. She poked her finger in there and a monkey popped up, Lisa Jones Engel, senior science advisor for primate experimentation at PETA, told USA Today. She made it clear to me on one of our conversations that she had gotten a face full of respiratory droplets, said Jones Engel, who had spoken to Fallon. Friday told Wolf TV she went to the emergency room after becoming concerned because she had an open cut on her hand and developed pink eye-like symptoms. The accident involved the collision of the pickup and a dump truck near the Danville exit on Interstate 80. Pennsylvania State Police said several monkeys had escaped following Friday's collision and one remained unaccounted for overnight. Michelle Fallon the Danville, Pennsylvania woman who came upon the crash had told the Press Enterprise newspaper when she and another motorist who stopped to help. The other driver said he thought he saw a cat run across the road. Fallon, who will be on preventative medicine for about two weeks, told Wolf TV. Because the monkey did hiss at me and there were feces around, and I did have an open cut, they just want to be precautious. Kristen Nordland, a spokesperson with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, said in an email to the Associated Press Saturday night that all 100 of the monkeys had since been accounted for. Three were euthanized. Peter criticized the CDC for what it considers shoddy follow-up in the aftermath of the incident. Persons scratched or bitten by a macaque monkey are at risk for the herpes B virus as well as other diseases including salmonella, the Ebola virus, tuberculosis, yellow fever and other illnesses. According to the CDC's site, Fallon is being treated with antiviral drugs and other medication to protect against rabies, Peter said in a statement. But reports from the scene suggested that feces and urine from the terrified monkeys were reportedly smeared across the highway as crates that weren't strapped in as required, flew from the truck. And the CDC should be scrambling to ensure that numerous people who were at the scene aren't in danger, Peter said. Follow-up is not only important for Passersby who came across the accident but for first responders. Jones Engel told USA Today. I'm surprised the CDC has not been more responsive to the first responders on this. Neither the USDA nor CDC responded to requests for comment on the incident. Peter asked the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service to investigate the incident for potential violations in the transportation and handling of the monkeys, which Peter said were en route to a laboratory in Missouri. We believe the handling and treatment of monkeys before during and after the collision may constitute violations, Peter Vice President Alka Chandna said in a letter addressed to Robert Gibbons, Director of Animal Welfare Operations at the USDA's APHIS. In laboratories, workers wear personal protective equipment to protect him from monkeys' bodily fluids, scratches and bites. Any exposures, such as the kind Fallon has described, are immediately treated following strict and rigorous protocols to reduce the risk of disease transmission, Jones Engel said. The CDC requires a minimum quarantine of 31 days for monkeys after they arrive in the U.S., she said.
About 1.2 million macaque monkeys have been imported into the U.S. since 1975, Jones Engel said. She provided a CDC PowerPoint presentation showing the number of non-human primates imported declining between 2019 and 2020. China is limiting how many it exports, and more animals reported dead on arrival and dying during quarantine. In the end, this doesn't work, she said. The monkeys are not giving us the treatments, they're not giving us the vaccines. All we're doing is increasing the risk for the human population. Thanks for stay with us, and make sure you could subscribe my YouTube channel dot and share it everywhere. Please like this video. Hello USA Today we discuss about a topic, a woman who happened upon the Friday crash of a pickup towing a trailer transporting 100 monkeys is reportedly being treated after a monkey spit at her and she developed pink eye symptoms. Thanks for stay with us, and make sure you could subscribe my YouTube channel dot and share it everywhere. Please like this video. People for the ethical treatment of animals. Peter, said the U.S. Department of Agriculture is investigating the accident, which occurred on an east-central Pennsylvania highway, and the subsequent attempts to round up some of the Cynomulgus macaque monkeys who had escaped from their crates. When Fallon looked into a crate, she heard a noise and saw a monkey inside. She poked her finger in there and a monkey popped up, Lisa Jones Engel, Senior Science Advisor for Primate Experimentation at PETA.